Everybody's laughing. Why is everybody laughing? Why is everybody laughing? Laughing at me all the time. It is a straight up fact. If they are even not making a sound as it is happening, there is laughter imprinted on their faces. A circuit forms of laughing pedestrians as if they have no destination other than committed cruelty. I don't like laughter. It follows me like a strange trail, a wisp of airplane, breath. I don't know how I feel about all this laughing, but it's certainly not positive. At the same time, I assume the stage, I take the podium, my embarrassment smacks of roses, I am red, from here, from up here, I, I am, I am red, red, I am confused by this laughing, it's throwing me off. My sentences are falling, falling apart, apart falling. I stumble. I am regurgitating. It is not fair to be laughed at. Laughed at. I am stopped. Stoppages. Laugh. Laugh at me. Again. A giggle, a regurgitation. I swallow the laughter and spew it out again. I recycle poison. Laughter, laughter occurs. Laughter reverberates. Laughter expels from me. Ha! <laughs> I sometimes say, I say it in my sleep. It is a figure of my personality. It occurs involuntary, involuntarily, but it gives me such a thrill, that cruelty, that cruelty reformed in my own breath. Ha! It is a hiccup of small victories. I hiccup laughters as I trudge through the household. I pitter, pit, I pitter patter, confound it, I am confused again. I'm trying to say, I, I am trying to say that I pitter patter through the household in my dressing gown, laughing in one syllable utterances I ha 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 in short stoppages I keep my metronome this way I am terrible in step terribly in step I stop I step I am rhythm the rhythm of cruelty the rhythm of cruelty exercised upon myself, directed at me. I regurgitate, I assume, I deliver, I trail and stream and have no other defence other than imitative Respites against myself. 
Ha! I will bitterly say. I am in my dressing gown. I spill the morning tea on my thigh. I am protected by a, ve a veal of fluffy dressing gown. I am protected, but it seeps through the fabric like an unfortunate dream about urinating. It seeps through and I feel the smarting. I am protected, but I still feel the pain. Ha! I laugh at this conundrum. It figures through my skin like a slippery moment from my past. That gives me involuntary physical reactions. Those were moments from my life I might blush at or that I might frown at. Moments of cruelty, moments of passion. Ha. I am a clockwork laughing machine. I have only learned this from my oppressors. The violences of laughter accumulate in my bones until they vibrate with intolerance and can no longer hold the heat of affront and they expel a roar of laughter. This happens to me occasionally in the bathroom, wet hair, eyes on the tiled floor, I tremble, my lip is vibrating, that I am prompted to sneeze by my own tremors. Laughing like a fool, I stop again. You see, you see, I am confused. I am confused by my own sounds, starts and stoppages, and I am pink all over, I am vulnerable, made vulnerable, and pink by my own tremors and tasseling, tessellations, tessellations is what I mean. I tessellate and frown and turn into a waterfall of pathetic frills. I am reduced to nothing once again. A pile of ribbons. I am a sewing stationery set. I am ribbons and buttons and smiles all over and glitter and regurgitations of style and preference. The laughter tore me apart on the bathroom floor and I unraveled into a heap of sparkling ribbons from which God knows whether I can ever hope to be reconstituted. This is the finale. I am flipping pancakes in the kitchen. Have you seen such at hing so humorous? It is flying, a flying saucer high above my head, flying turning triple somersault, falling to my open mouth. I do not wait for it. Return to the pan. Of course, it slaps straight onto my face and the heat 
smarts and I miss my gape and I am fit to start laughing. I am. Anybody would laugh at this. I am reduced. I sink to the floor and the pancake unseals itself from my skin and falls flat on the floor. This is what they call slapstick, I think. A certain nifty trick I have mastered. I have canned laughter bottled up in my kitchen cupboard. And as I th sink to the floor with glistening tears, those cupboards fly open and roar at me, roar me, roar me into elevation. The laughter throws me high, like a baby in a tossed blanket. Babies ought not to be tossed in blankets, especially woven into invisible towels. They may land unsafely. And I soared high and high, an ecstatic baby thrown to the skies. The laughter raised me to untold heights. And I grew wet in my eyes and what I saw in the sky, the great face of God, the great smiling face of God, looking straight into my face and grasping me with the intensity of his smiles, a mouth so great it could swallow a thousand planets. And I soared to the point of tipping his nose with mine, almost a touch, almost a touch with the face of a great big smiling god, until my nose turned and turned and I succumbed to, to a nose dive, a dive, a great deep dive back to earth, a plummet, a thing untold, a laughter, a laughter pejorative, a pejorative and rule task, a cruelty untold. And I fell and fell and fell and fell to the earth surface until it became the terribly clear that no mass of earth could hold me and contain me falling like that with such forced indeed with such a turn events lain out before me even the universe had not anticipated the, co the course of events in advance enough to prepare me for my downfall. It had forgotten about gravity and I sank into the earth more like a bullet than, than anything else and I shot through the earth, never to return, all that the hands of the laughing crows, crowd, who demolished me in a, a, oh, I grow confused, I grow confused from the laughing, it blisters my ears to the point of tears, 
but I am here. I am pervasive. I am extant, despite it all. I fall endlessly in a blackness that only the evil spirits of laughter know.